Our Emacs Hawk Apex has an Express LRS receiver with version 2 firmware, which means it's not compatible with the version 3 firmware that's on our radio. After contacting Emacs support to verify which target I should choose, I thought this would be a simple demonstration video showing how I created the firmware file, then plugged in a battery, connected to the Wi-Fi network, uploaded the firmware, and everything turned out ugh, great. If this is happening to you, I'll show you which target to choose and how to get the receiver up to date and working properly, except for one small annoying thing that I cannot figure out. Here's the problem I encountered. After carefully selecting the target that Emacs advised, I created the bin file and proceeded to do the update. Then I got a warning saying the targets were mismatched. So doubting myself, I hit cancel and again recreated the bin file. I don't think I made an error on the previous file, but this time, rather than a warning, I got an error saying not enough space. On the official ExpressLRS website, I read how to fix the error by either flashing via Wi-Fi to version 2.5.2 and then from there updating to version 3 or going straight to version 3 through Betaflight pass-through. I chose the more efficient option, so I selected the same settings as before, but this time I chose Betaflight pass-through instead of Wi-Fi and with the quad connected via a USB cable, I hit flash. Again, I got an error message saying that the targets were not matched. So I went with the Wi-Fi option and updated to version 2.5.2 and again the targets were mismatched. At this point I was hours deep into this rabbit hole and I knew I selected the correct target so I hit flash anyway. Finally I created the version 3 express LRS bin file and did the update. When I saw this message I thought I was out of the woods I was super relieved. But I realized that I wanted to put a binding phrase and I hadn't added one. Even though you can probably do that without having to reflash, I decided to go ahead and reflash the firmware with a binding phrase. And with that message, I was back to square one. Well, not entirely, because it was up to date and it could bind with the version 3 transmitter. But I really wanted to get this to work as it should. So I downgraded again to 2.5.2 and I got the target mismatched error and I just flashed anyway. Then I upgraded again using the firmware file with the binding phrase. So now it has a binding phrase and it's all up to date and it works perfectly. But if I ever want to remove the binding phrase, I'll have to downgrade to 2.5.2 and then upgrade again to the latest version. And actually I did remove the binding phrase just to test it out and I had to downgrade and upgrade and the whole pattern repeated itself. So I don't know if this issue is widespread or only with this particular Express LRS receiver. Either way, I hope that this video helped you choose which target to use when updating the Express LRS receiver on both the three and a half inch and the five inch version of the Hawk Apex. Thanks for watching Ready, Set, Drone. Leave us a comment and remember, don't fly alone. Goodness, do I have an ELRS gray streak yet? I'm sure I will soon. I think Kelly's right. Just use a DJI radio and avoid all this madness. <laughs>